Right, the free floating line has also been redone. Um, but rather than make every shell available in all sizes, they've tried to make it a little bit more job specific. So if we come up to the very shallowest, the three and a half is a steel shell. So it's nice and bright. It makes sense to have a nice, bright, shallow drum. If we go down to, oh, actually, before we go, let's, let's just have a look at this snare. Uh, snare release, new snare release, sideways action, very short, and it's got a little insert in it, which actually locks onto the knob and stops it from turning when it's engaged. So you can then change the snare tension when it's off. You can't move it while it's on. Very, very simple, very, very clever. They've also put a new nut through it, which means there's absolutely no movement in there. It's as solid as a rock, I suppose. Right, let's move down. The uh, five inch is a one millimeter brass shell and uh, die cast hoops does across the whole range. Uh, then as we get deeper, we, get, we change to a darker material. Then we got fossil bronze, 1.2 millimeters fossil bronze in the six and a half. And then finally, the eight inch is aluminium. So you get a nice, dry, dark sound. Eight inch aluminium snare, which I um, want to play because I'm sure that sounds absolutely fantastic. Now, we're going to try and move up the other side. So we've looked at the metals now. Let's have a look at the wood. We've got a three and a half. This is a birch shell. So nice and bright, six by 5.4 millimeters. Nice and bright. Slightly darker sound for the five. So we got from maple, seven and a half mil, six ply. Then we move down to a maple and mahogany shell for the six and a half, even darker still. And then what I'm sure will sound fantastic, the eight inch is a solid eight ply mahogany shell. A nice, dark fat. That is gonna sound great.